Hello guys and good to have you again. So in today's Node Video Full Editing Tutorial, Course 2, I'm going to be teaching you the best way to use Motion Tracker, Stabilizer, and the 3D Camera Tracker. So first, let's start with the Motion Tracker. I will be using this footage of mine as an example to guide you through and to help you understand how Node Video Motion Tracker really works. So now go to the Effect Properties, select Tracker, and add the Motion Tracker to your footage. So this is the Motion Tracker editing properties, and at the top, we have the Motion Type. The Position help you to track only the position of an object. It is useful for simple movement like moving left or right, without any scaling or rotation. The Position and Rotation Tracker allow you to track both the position and rotation of an object. It is useful for objects that spin or turn while moving around. The Position and Scale monitors the position and size of an object. It is normally used for objects that change in size as they move. And finally, the Position, Scale, and Rotation combine all the tracking movement together. It is normally used for complex movements of an object. Now that you know all about their functions, I will use the Position Type as an example to teach you how to track an object properly. Next, apply to target. This option allows you to select the video layer or object you want to track. The tolerance option helps you to increase the accuracy of the tracking movement, so you can choose to increase it or not. But normally, I live mine at 8%. Click on the Analyze button to start tracking your target or object. The yellow bar below represents tracking progress. Click on the Clear button when you want to reset tracking. And lastly, these are the tracking control buttons. So now that you all know this, let's proceed by tracking the video target. Gradually drag the tracking point to where you want to track. Next, reduce the tracking point in other to increase tracking accuracy. Now that we are done tracking the target, let's add the object layer. So a few days ago, I made this 3D mobile phone, and I will use it as an example to track the target and which is the hand. So first, I will be removing the green screen background. And secondly, adjust object scale to fit the exact position where the tracking point is. Once that is done, Click on Apply to Target and select the video you want to apply to Target. And now we click the Apply button. This strike will appear on the Video Transformation tab. Once you successfully apply Motion Tracker, the object layer may go out of composition after applying Motion Tracker. But nevertheless, all you need to do is to recomposite the video position back to the tracking point. Now let's watch a playback of the work done so far. Just like me, you can also add keyframe if you're not completely satisfied with the motion tracking. So next, Stabilizer. This is also an After Effects tool that helps you reduce shakes from video footage. However, Node Video Stabilizer works a little differently. But first, let's add a video that we will be stabilizing. I will be using a clip from the movie Rebel Ridge. So next, we go to Tracker and add Stabilizer. As you can see, the Stabilizer editing properties look similar to those of Motion Tracker, but with just a few minor differences. So first, let's increase the accuracy. And over here, I will stabilize just the face of the character. After that, click on the Analyze button. And just like the motion tracker, we go ahead and click on the apply button. As you can see, the tracker icon just appeared on the transformation tab, which also means the stabilizer has been applied. So now we can watch the playback. 
I'm sure you noticed the video frame going off screen. To fix this, go to the Video Transformation tab and switch the Basic Transformation to 3D Transformation. Next, increase the scale of the video layer. And now, let's watch the final playback. As you can see, our footage here no longer goes off screen. And just like that, it's fixed. And finally, the 3D Camera Tracker. 3D Camera Tracker is also an advanced tracking tool that allow you to track live footage in 3D. So let's go to the tracker and add 3D camera tracking. The 3D camera tracker effect properties are quite different from those of motion tracker and stabilizer. First, I'm going to add 3D camera tracking to this video footage. So the FPS simply means frames per second, also known as frame rate. You can set up the frame rate of the clip in percentage, but I usually leave mine at 30%. In other, to increase the speed of the tracking process, Next, the resolution. This simply means the quality standard of the video clip, which I usually set at 1080p. The focal length works like a zoom on your camera. The contiguous overlap is like capturing snapshots of the camera's movement, giving the system enough information to build a 3D scene. Increase the overlap to 15% if you have more camera movement in your footage. The more overlap, the more snapshots and details are provided for a more accurate 3D scene. The match distance is the measurement of how close the virtual camera is to the real camera's movement. But for now, I'll leave this at its default settings. Click on Start Analyzing to start tracking. So this is the tracking result details. As you can see, we have zero errors and 100% tracking success. You can also choose to clear or reset tracking program. The threshold allow you to increase or reduce track points, therefore helping you to easily locate the areas or position you want to track. And also, you can watch the video playback to know where all your track points are. Drag and long press your screen in other to select track points. So this is also an option that allow you to select tracking composition like the text, 3D text, group, and transformation. By selecting the text, it's automatically create a text layer on the selected track point. There you can edit and set animation to the text layer. The 3D text also work the same way, but with some slight difference. The group help you to track multiple layers stored in the group folder. The copy transformation option help you to copy the right position, scale, and rotation you need in other to create a 3D scene. So I will start by copying the transformation details and next add a new video layer. So I will use this monster green screen effect as an example to teach you how to use 3D camera tracker. So to apply 3D camera tracker, go to the object transformation tab and paste the transformation details you copied. Next, resize the video or object layer to match composition. A tracking icon will appear on the 3D settings once the 3D camera tracker have successfully been applied to video layer. So, we have come to the end of Node Video Tracker full editing tutorial. If you learned something valuable today, kindly give us a like button or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video editing tutorials like this. Take care and see you next time.